All right, so enough with that. Let's start the video. How's it going guys and welcome to a new video. In this video you'll see how I made this push dagger from this old saw blade. I hope you'll enjoy the video. Of course to start off every video I traced out my design on a piece of paper and then traced the piece of paper around on the saw blade. This is how it got started and then I just used my angle grinder to cut the saw blade out. I've just cut the basic shape out using just a thin cut off wheel but when you want to refine the edge like get away all these burrs and you want to refine the shape a little bit more you're gonna want to take a thicker grinding wheel so you don't break it as easily and if you break your grinding wheel it can be really dangerous so always use a bigger or thicker wheel if you want to refine edges. I'm just going to use a flat file to go over all the edges like this and remove the burrs and also shape it a little bit more. The way to the world is love. Now I'm going to send off all the slack and all the rust marks off of the push dagger just using some sandpaper. I just cut a slot in the handle part of the knife, like this. That's so I can run paracord through the knife, so when I hold it in my hand like this, the pa uh, paracord will push up against my hand and not just the bare metal, because I think it will hurt when the bare metal just touches my hand like that, and it really impacts on something. And to, make it, to give it a little bit of a darker color, I'm just gonna put it in a batch of vinegar and let it sit overnight, so it will edge the blade a little and that will make it look a little bit darker than normal. You can really just use any, any kind of container, but I chose to use this paint roller container. So the paint goes in here, you can roll out over this. But I chose this because the knife fits inside perfectly. And because it fits inside so perfectly, I don't have to use that much vinegar. So uh, I'm just gonna pour the vinegar in right now. So now it's completely cascaded in vinegar, as you can see. And if we let it sit like this for like a few days, then it will color darker.
So now the handle is in place. As you can see, I can now hold it comfortably in my hand. And when I like move with it or punch with it, it doesn't hurt me anymore. So that's that's really positive. It's really a nice feeling to hold it. Really feels good in your hand. But to sharpen the tip even more, I'm gonna take this whetstone. I'm sure you all know what a whetstone is. It's like a, a stone to really sharpen the blade after you've already put the edge on it like this. So now the edge is on it and when you use the whetstone you will get it even sharper. So I'm just gonna spray some WD-40 on the whetstone. And you're gonna make this motion. And just as many times on the other side of course. And like that you've got a really sharp knife. So you just saw me make the handle for the little knuckle knife or a push dagger. And that's also the final step of making this bad boy. I think it looks really cool and especially with the dark tone to it and the light green handle. I think it really stands out and I really personally really like weapons that stand out from the rest. Fold my hand over like this, you can see the edges that are sharpened. Yeah, I think that's a pretty cool shot. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed the video and for future videos subscribe to my channel. And if you've got anything you want me to make next, leave it in the comments. Well that's the end of this video and I'll see all of you in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching.